All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kerbal GPS mod, which was originally made by user Packled Hostage. It has now been revived by, of course, none other than Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a working GPS system. And that is awesome. So basically, now you can put up into orbit your own constellation of GPS satellites so that you can tell where your stuff on the planet is. And that is pretty darn cool. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at the three parts that make this whole thing possible. So let's grab a Mark 1 command pod for size comparison's sake and turn on our janitor's closet mod filter, just leaving Kerbal GPS. And we're going to head down to the communication tab where all three of these things live. And the first part we'll have a look at, which is arguably the most important, is the Figaro GNSS transmitter. Now this is what you put on to your satellites so that you actually can receive a signal on one of these two GPS receivers. So this is the must have. You have to put it onto satellites and you have to have multiples of them in space for you to actually get a GPS signal that can tell you a location. So it's a pretty small part as you can see here. It doesn't have any requirements power-wise or anything, which I feel is a little weird. I, I would like it to at least use a little bit of power, so you had to think about that, but oh well, what are you gonna do? And as you can see here, it also has a range of 2.5 million meters. And uh, yeah, pretty much the farther out it is, the better you really are. I'll talk about that a little bit more here in a minute though. Now the other two parts are two different GPS receivers. We have the Figaro GNSS receiver and then also the GPS antenna which is made by Carmen and that is hilarious. And basically they both serve the exact same purpose. It's just two different styles. So whether you want it to look like a weird walkie-talkie or a boat GPS system yeah, you go with one of the two, and there you are. So those are the parts, so let's actually go to the tracking station real quick and have a look at my small, really crappy constellation of GPS satellites. And I only have four up there in orbit at the moment, as that's the minimum you need. Now, basically how this thing works is whatever you're trying to locate, say my rover on the launch pad, it needs to have visible as many satellites as possible from the horizon. So if one of these satellites was, say, over here, it would not be able to get the signal from it. And so you have to have visible satellites in range of your rover and it will get the position. The more satellites you have, the better that signal will be. And I have four here because that's the minimum that you really need for this mod to work. Now, in the real world, you really only need three. It's not going to be an accurate location from that, but it works. In this mod, though, and all the testing I've done so far, if I only have three visible satellites, we lose signal and it just goes to an A instead of having any coordinates. With four, though, as the minimum, you will have a GPS lock. And uh, wh what I mentioned earlier about the further out it is, the better. The reason for that is because of the speed of the satellites. Technically, if you really wanted to, you could have these things at a 100,000 meter orbit and it'd be perfectly fine. But depending on where they're located, basically the satellites can be moving too quick for the GPS receiver to calculate things correctly, and so it'll jump back and forth between wild numbers. So the further out the satellites are, the better spaced they are, and the slower they're moving, all come into account for how accurate your signal is. So it does get a little bit complicated, and yeah, basically, just put, put them into a very high orbit. Remember that maximum distance that they had was 2.5 million meters, and I have these in uh, 500,000 meters at their orbit, and it works pretty darn well, but they still do move a bit 
too quickly. So this four, of course, isn't going to last very long for my little rover. So let's go and fly the rover and check out the current positioning that we do have and talk about the features once you're actually in a thing. Now we have our little rover here and we have our little uh, GPS receiver. And if we right click on it, you'll see the information tab, which has our current position in that long. And then the altitude, our number of visible satellites and our current accuracy, which is actually surprising at four. When I was testing this earlier and had 11 satellites visible, I only had about 0.3 meter accuracy, but now I'm getting 0.1 from four. I'm wondering about that. It might have something to do with the altitude. I was testing a multitude of different altitudes, and so that might have had something to do with it. And look, we just went to three satellites and we lost our positioning. That is perfect timing. I was hoping that would happen to show you guys that. But yes, uh, we need at least those four satellites for things to work. So what I'm actually gonna do is load the quick save here, which will bring us back to having four satellites so we can talk a little bit more about this stuff. And bringing back up this panel again, just all the basic info. Now that's not all that this mod has. If it was it, I honestly wouldn't think it'd be that special. But if we go over to our toolbar here, we have this button, the Kerbal GPS button. And if we click it, it'll bring up a nifty little new UI, which this, this is what makes this mod worth it. Now the first panel it comes into by default is this position button tab, which will show us the time, the latitude, the longitude, and our current altitude. So, you know, the same information right up here, except you also have the addition of time. Now the status one is gonna show us our accuracy and our current number of visible satellites. So basically this bottom two bit right here. The great wonderful thing about this mod though is the next button destination and if we click this well we basically have satellite navigation now and it's a wonderful wonderful thing basically how this works is you put in a latitude and a longitude coordinate hit set destination and it'll show you how far away from that location you are and what heading it's at so if we adjust ourselves to a heading of 251, we're roughly 200 meters away from this point here. And that's pretty awesome. That makes it a heck of a lot easier to help you navigate to things you may have out on the surface or on the ocean. It's a pretty cool feature. And what makes it better is we can name the destination. So if we call this just say point one, we can hit save here, and that will now save it into a list if we hit load. And as you can see, we have point one saved in our Kerbal GPS destination list. And this is wonderful. I cannot tell you how much this is gonna save me time in many of my games where I've got boats out on the ocean, little bases up in the mountains, etc. I can just click on which thing I need to find and then it loads it and it's wonderful and you can navigate to it. And of course you can also delete them from the list if you don't need that anymore. My one problem with this is if we hit close, the whole thing goes away. <laughs> Not just the little the uh, the list portion, but the whole little UI tab. It's a minor a minor little detail, frankly, but it is it is kind of annoying. But it's just so cool having this GPS navigation thing. So if we start moving in two five nine roughly, you can see we're getting closer to our destination now that we're going in roughly that heading. And that, that's just cool. I really, really like that feature. It's gonna help me so much with finding things on the surface. And uh, what makes the mod even more fun is if you do also have Contract Configurator installed, there are special contracts for building your constellation of GPS satellites on this planet 
and others. You're not just limited to GPS here, you can put GPS basically anywhere, so long as, you know, you have the right number of satellites and the receiver to receive the signal. And that, that's just fun. So yeah, that's really all I got to talk about though on this, so if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I definitely recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching my friends, and as always, have a good one!